Well, this kind of failed. The top pads are different sizes. They're a couple millimeters too big for the stock top pads that he has for the strut tower. Kind of pointless. Sucks to suck. So what are you doing now, Sasha? Trying to fix my screw up. So what's going on is, uh, Top hat doesn't fit, so we're gonna do something that you're not supposed to do with coilovers. Use a stock top hat onto this, and hopefully it works. So after a good effort, we're able to take off this top hat from this, and now once we compress this spring, we're hoping that we can take off this top hat and fit it onto the ISC coilovers. Let's hope all goes well. I know it's going to shoot. I can feel it. Oh my gosh. Don't look in front of it. No, not the house, dude. <laughs> look at this spring, though. <laughs> oh, we got about what? A spring distance of what? It's six feet. It's a six footer. Six footer. <laughs> Harbor Freight clamp did its job, I guess, a little bit. Go. <laughs> cool. All right. So let's see if the top hat actually fits. Well, does it go on there? Well, it's gonna have two extra bearings now, but it does fit. It fits? Oh, if it fits, it sits. For a low flat rate. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna be sketchy, but it'll work. I don't know if it's even sketchy. It mouse on there pretty decent. It'll be good. I just torque it down, we're set. Nice. Peterbilt. Mm. Actually, it's. I think it's still functional. I don't know, it might be too low. You're, you're functional, dude. I'm pretty hard, dude. <laughs> I think you're good. Okay.